Good morning, guys. <laughs> Look at my hair. I am going out vintage shopping today. I'm gonna go look for some vintage antique Christmas decor is the plan. So I just dressed really comfortable. I'm in tennis shoes, I'm in leggings, and just a little sweater. It's just now starting to get a teensy bit, like where you could put on a light sweater here. So that's super exciting. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun like a slick bun and i think with the olaplex treatment in and like let it sit and soak all day so that's my plan also this sweater gets like stretched out where it doesn't stay up and i want it to stay up so i'm going to take these hair ties and this works i like to do this with blazers as well and you just i have this hair ties the same color as the shirt so try to get it as close as possible if not i mean you're gonna cover it up anyway. And then I just tie it up and it will stay up all day. What am I doing? And it's like the best hack ever because you don't have to like worry about your sleeves. It's so annoying just like pulling your sleeves, sleeves up all day. So I'm just gonna put my hair up. Also, I've been using these way the scalp serum. I did use for a while the Kerastase, which I liked as well. And I feel like it does, I don't know, it's probably in my head to be honest, but I do feel like it's slightly working. Okay, I'm taking the Olaplex number three and just gonna put this in my hair and let it soak all day. Because this slick bun, like a lot of the times I'll use coconut oil or you can even use like a pomade it kind of looks like the palm, or especially the coconut oil, it looks a little wet. So having the treatment in, I feel like it's like, you could totally get away with it. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna rub this in. And I, when I'm antique shopping too, I, I don't like to like fuss with like an outfit. I don't like to be uncomfortable. Like I wanna be super comfortable. I don't want to have to mess with my hair. Like I just want to pull it up in like a tight bun and call it good. Like I, I need to focus on the decor and not like my hair if it's being annoying or you know, whatever. So I'm just going to really try to get this in here. And then I just kind of like pull it back and decide where I'm kind of feeling the, the bun. I'm kind of feeling like maybe a little lower today. Okay, so what I like to do is get it situated. And I kind of do like to have a little bit of a mess. And the other key is to kind of like pull that down a little bit, I feel like. So it kind of goes down instead of just like straight back. Do you see the difference? It's subtle, but I feel like it does help my hair feel like a little fuller or something? I don't know. Anyway, slick it back with a bristle brush like this. I do think I'm gonna need some coconut oil. I like to use two. I like to do a pony, and then that way I can like kind of get it how I want it. It kind of gives me a little bit more room to work with, like so. And then I like to go back over with that comb and brush out any lumps. There's one right there that's probably gonna... And then sometimes I'm just over it, so I'm like, whatever. It's okay if I have some lumps. Not a big deal. From here, I'm just gonna take some coconut oil. We just have it out on the counter because Zach uses it every single day. I mean, I do too. I take my makeup off with it. I do a lot, which I know a lot of people don't like that, but it really works for me. Okay, and then I'm going to take whatever coconut oil I have left, run it through, and then I like to split mine so that the bottom of the bun is just as full as the top because my hair is thinner, so by the time I wrap around, all the thickness will be at the top or at the bottom, depending on where I started. 
So I like to split it so that way it's full all the way around. You just have to make sure you like tuck all of those pieces in and then I wrap it with another one. And then I do kind of like to secure it with a bobby pin like so. And I think they like pull out and tuck in and pull and tuck just until I like it. And then I secure it with another the bobby pin. And then like these pieces, I like to like push up and secure with a bobby pin as well. And sometimes I like like some pieces just kind of like tucked behind my ear. So it's not like so formal. Sometimes I like that. And then I just take a bobby pin and secure the bun so it stays right in place. My nails are lifting so it's like pulling my hair. But yeah, I, like I said, I do kind of like to pull some pieces out. Depends on the day. Like sometimes I like it super slick and other times I'm like, uh, I don't want it to feel so, so stuck to my head. Okay, but the key to a slick bun that I think really pulls the whole look together is a pair of hoops, specifically gold hoops if you have them. These are some of my favorite. Actually, I might do shorter. These might be like, I'm wearing tennis shoes, so, I mean smaller. Okay. I traded out the hoops because I'm wearing tennis shoes. I kind of want something a little like less in my face. Yeah, much better. Okay. doesn't matter. It could be a small hoop. It could be a big hoop, but the key to a slick bun is a hoop. I feel like I just feel like it pulls the whole look together. I have been wearing this little watch that I got off of Amazon pretty much daily. I feel like it just is like an, like an added accessory that just feels like it completes the look and I actually use it sometimes. So it's a win-win. Anyway, so I like push it. I need to take another link out and then my wedding ring and just my everyday rings. I got these. Some of you guys do ask about these little hammered rings that I wear all the time. I got these with Zach back in Oregon one trip when we went to Bend at just some local uh, jewelry store that they had there. So I can link something similar, but I just got these at a little local shop there. One thing I need to fix is my mascara is already hitting the my eyelids. So if I don't fix this now, it's going to be an ongoing problem for the day. Evidently, I have some oily eyelids. So I'm gonna take some of my e.l.f. powder, this setting powder, and I just kind of bake it on there or like really add quite a bit. And I feel like this does the trick. I've tried primers, I've tried lots of different mascaras, and I don't know, I guess I just have some oily eyelids. So I'm gonna make sure it's nice and powdery. And I start with this lighter one and then I go in with like my face powder. But I think the key is to make sure I have a lot of powder up there. Otherwise, it really does like transfer. It took me a while to figure out like, why is this happening? I tried so many different things and then it's like, girl, your eyelids are oily. That's it, that's just what it is. And then I'm just taking this, I need a new one. It's for sales going on right now too, so I should probably get this and I'm just going over it just to give it a little bit of warmth because that other one's like a pink setting powder where this one is like obviously I'm gonna warm it up a little bit more okay hopefully that does the trick and then because I just added a bunch of powder I like to go over and just add one more layer of mascara cool okay also hold on <laughs> Sorry you guys, I just get to chatting with you and I gotta tell you everything that my videos end up being super chatty. Have you guys heard of Dr. Whitney Bow? I think it's B-O-W-E is what I wanna say, on TikTok. She's a dermatologist, she created skin cycling. 
Basically, what you do is you do an exfoliating night, you do a retinol night, and then, and then you do two recovery nights. This has been a game changer for my skin. I've been doing it for on and off, I would say for like two months because we were traveling. I couldn't take like all my stuff, so I, I just had a bunch of recovery nights. But I kid you not, this is my skin is looking so healthy. You have to go check her out. It's incredible. I will put her uh, like TikTok, one of her TikToks right here. Amazing, 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 amazing. I, okay, so I do more recovery nights because I exfoliate, then I do retinol, and then I recover for like three or four nights just because I do feel like I need a little bit more recovery, which she does recommend. If you need more recovery days, take them. I was using a different moisturizer, but I take my makeup off with coconut oil. I know a lot of estheticians don't recommend that, but for whatever reason, it works for me and I, it doesn't break me out. So you would take your makeup off and then day one, you're gonna do exfoliate. I use this one and then put on your moisturizer. I've been using this one lately. I ran out of my, I was using the Oliveda one, but I, I need to get a nice moisturizer. So let me know, what do you guys use? I do have acne prone skin. So I need something like for that. And then the second night I use a, my dermatologist gave me this retinol or tretinoin, tretinoin. I, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I use that the second night. So basically take your makeup off, you can moisturize, then put on your retinol if you have like a little bit more sensitive skin or I just, I usually do my retinol and then moisturize or you can even sandwich it. So moisturizer, retinol, moisturizer. You gotta go check out her videos. She obviously does way better explaining. I'm just letting you guys know what I do. And then that's it. And then in the mornings I'll do, I stopped using my vitamin C because I think it was breaking me out. This is the one I was using the Glow Method Vitamin C, and then I will do like my hyaluronic acids during the day um, and any other creams, but I kind of just like simplified it. I kind of paired it back and just do simple stuff. I find that it's working a lot better for my, my skin. So anyway, I thought I would let you guys know about that because it has like changed my skin. I mean, it is, my skin looks so good. So last night I did retinol and then usually on my recovery days, my skin, I mean, I have never, and if you've been here from the beginning, you can see so much of my texture and my skin. Like I really struggled there for a while with acne and I got a bunch of chemical peels and that made it worse, but maybe it made it better in the long run. I'm not sure. And then I just like, stopped using all the stuff like i was using so many products so i just kind of chilled out and went super simple i will probably do this for the rest of my life i it, it's i could cry that is how happy i am that my skin finally likes me <laughs> all right first location is scottsdale marketplace i love this store i've taken you guys here before but I heard they have all their Christmas stuff out. Okay, I like this little jigger. A bit pricey, but they are having a sale 20% off. I actually really like this. I think it has so much detail. I love around the Christmas time, all of the barware that comes out. Oh my gosh, you guys look over here. Whoa, it's like candy Christmas. Wow. How sweet. I think my goal is to find a vintage Nutcracker. I'm into Nutcrackers this year. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Wow, I like that. How much is that? Okay, this is really cute. 25. Oh, sheesh. If I wanted a couple of those, those would add up. But like, look how special that is. Oh my gosh, I like that. 
Okay, we are here for antiques, but you guys look at this box. I mean, sorry, we're here for Christmas decor, not obviously antiques. These are pretty too. Oh, I have this. I got that off Amazon. I really like this a lot. I think this is so cute. I actually did want to check out one of these paintbrushes. Okay, I thought this was really cute too, but then I found some more of the smaller brushes here. I just think these would be really pretty and just different to have in the house. I need to get over to Christmas, but I got distracted. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these tiny salt. And this is so small. It's like tiny. Look at those. Yes. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting another horn roll. Look at I found some. Oh, and look at this. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for a bedside table. 28. I like that a lot. Oh, great. I'm supposed to be Christmas shopping. I like these as well. I thought these were really pretty. Oh. Okay, it looks handmade. Okay, you guys, remember that silver tray I got and I found it again at another antique store? Well, this one's like round. If you can see, I'll take this off. How pretty is that? It's $2.29, but it's 50% off. I don't need it, but it sure is beautiful. Okay, I might need this. It's a butter cutter, $14.99. I would assume you just hold it on both ends and press it down and it just cuts the butter. Okay, I might get that, you guys. I kind of think that's brilliant. That is so cool. Do you have one of these? Do you use it? I mean, not that I need to cut my butter. And actually the butter we use is a lot more square. I don't know. You guys, look at how gorgeous these are. Oh my gosh, $3.95. And then I'm not sure how much the big one is, but wow, those are so Ralph Lauren. They're so absolutely breathtaking like things like this just make my heart just like stop <laughs> i know that sounds really cheesy but like just the history you can just see the history the wear on these oh gorgeous i'm not finding a lot of christmas decor here but i love that i'm at antique trove now and i love these kind of antique stores especially once you establish your style because you can kind of look through all of the knickknacks and kind of refine your style. Oh, look. I shared some similar ones of these that I put my medicine in. I really want to find a vintage nutcracker. That is kind of like what I'm looking for this year but I'm not seeing them so far, so it might be a little bit of a struggle. So, wish me luck, you guys. And when I find it, I will definitely share. I did see these when I first walked in, and I so remember these when I was young. Cute. Okay, again with the luggage and like the trunks, all of this stuff I'm so into right now. This one's 150. Oh my gosh, you guys. Could you imagine carrying this through like a train station or even airport? No, gosh. I mean, you would pack very minimal and very light, <laughs> but that thing would probably get heavy. Anyway, you guys, so beautiful. I kind of want it. 
I'm super into them right now. I just think for like stacking and like adding so much character to a room. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like it has someone's initials on it. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Okay, you guys, look at these old hand lotion bottles for $13. <gasps> okay, normally I don't love like to, I don't know, get too much of this kind of stuff. What in the world is that? Oh my gosh, that is not real. <gasps> no, you cannot. Okay. I might need these. I like these, like in medicine cabinet, they could put our hand lotions in them. Oh my gosh. You guys, those are so sweet. Look, they have other like medicine. These are the same jars that I got off Amazon. How cute are these? I would want to use them because I, I don't want knickknacky things that I'm not using. What is this? I don't know what that was. How cute. Oh, what is this? Toothpaste? $25? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh no. I'm like so loving these. And look at this like piece, this whole piece right here. Oh, it'd be so pretty, especially this bottom half. How much is this? 4200 okay I think these are just I just might have to have these like mixed in with like other stuff is so cute and then this is just so cool what is this book is this like health and longevity look at that book that thing is huge what's this one receipt book Okay, I might be getting these. Okay, I found this little clock. I found one on Amazon. This one's 82. I found one on Amazon and bought it a while ago, but this is just so much more special. I ended up returning the one on Amazon, but you guys, look how sweet. I even like, like that it's old and has some aging. It's beautiful. All right, you guys, I found this little compass. It says FTF sweet and in there it says first to find me and me to you oh my gosh right, guys i'm home this might be the worst light but i really want to show you the things that i got from the antique store now when i went out my goal was to go christmas shopping but they didn't have a ton of christmas out now the first spot that we went to the Scottsdale Marketplace they did but I was looking for more vintage and so I think if I go next week they might have more Christmas out however I found some of the best stuff I think I've ever found I love antique shopping and every time you go you're kind of like there's things that you could be looking for for example like if I'm trying to find artwork for a room or certain things that I'm looking for of course I'm gonna be looking for those but the more that I go the more I'm realizing that kind of changes. And also as my style evolves and as I grow and as I like fine tune my style, I've noticed I am noticing different things. So that's been really, really fun. Okay, so the first thing that I got was actually from Scottsdale Marketplace, the first spot that we went to with the Christmas. And that is, she called this a calligraphy brush might be like just a regular paintbrush but i thought this would be really cute i i feel like i need to kind of fix the hair because it was like in a little thing that was like pushing the hair up so we need to fix that these can be so pricey but this one was 24 dollars, and i just thought this would be really pretty on some books or really any kind of decor piece, but I loved it. And I'm trying to collect some antique art ma like materials, whether that's like old antique art items. So I'm actually looking at this easel. I need to write the antique store because they were gonna price check it and I haven't heard from them. But I would love to paint 
my paintings on this old vintage easel. Oh, it's so pretty. I really hope it's for sale because there wasn't a price on it. Okay, then I went to Antique Trove in Scottsdale. It's just right down the street. And I found these. I shared these with you guys while I was there. But they are these old hand lotion bottles. I honestly don't know how old they are. But I love them. I love that the glass was so clean because I feel comfortable transferring something in here. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably put hand lotion in here. Um, maybe some of our you know, more affordable hand lotions can go in here and then put these in the medicine cabinet with all the other pretty things that I have in there. And they just really go with my vibe. I thought these would pair really, really well with some of my luxury candles. Just kind of that whole, just, it's just a look, you know? I think I shared a picture with you guys before that really inspired me. So I'm gonna put it on the screen again, but I loved these and then, in the video, I shared the little toothpaste, the blue and white toothpaste jar, which I might regret. Like you would think I know would know better, but I left it behind. And it's because I saw this one and I loved that this one, this one's also ceramic, but I loved that this one was just like nothing and I could put it really with anything else that I have. And I felt like it kind of vibed with my style a little bit better. I'm still maybe like, Am I gonna regret leaving that other one behind? But I thought this could be so cute to put on my bedside table. So if I ever wake up in the middle of the night and I have like a little headache or something, I could put a couple little ibuprofens or a leave or whatever in here and then grab it if I need to. So, or in a guest room, this could be really cool. Put some ibuprofen in here or some you know, Tylenol, whatever, so that if your guests have a headache, you got them covered. But how cute, like, are you joking? Oh my gosh, I love those. And I, I, I think I told you guys this, I fully plan on using my antique items. I don't wanna just collect them just to have things. I want them to be functional. So I do plan on using them and putting lotions in them and, and stuff in them. So then, I found this here. I love this. I there's like some writing on there, but you can't see it. Well, anyway, the it was in the case and the guy had to open up the case to give it to me and he said, "This is used for melting metal." So this gets really really hot and you put this in like another piece that gets really hot and you have to use tongs to take this out. And I just thought that was really cool to know that story, but I just loved the like worn look that it has. I just, I loved it. He said, be really careful because it is like glass and it will break. This is only $9. So, uh, had to have that. Let me actually go through. So this one was $24. This one was $12, this one was $10, this one was $10, and then the last item that I got was $15, and you guys, how beautiful is this? How beautiful is this? It is so beautiful. This was $15, and it's like a little box. So you open it up. and you store your little items in there. I just thought I loved how different this was. I don't have anything like this, and I just thought it gave my, my space a completely different look. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm really looking for unique pieces to add to my decor inventory, if you will, pieces that I don't, I mean, I am notorious for purchasing like everything, right? Or per, repurchasing kind of the same thing. For instance, the vintage clay pots. I can't just have one. I want them all. I love them. I, I just honestly like do that all the time where I buy all of them. <laughs> so I'm trying to diversify my decor inventory and the pieces that I have and add like these special little touches and different things that just make my home a little bit more interesting. So I think I did pretty good today. 
I'm really happy with all of the items that I got and I'm really happy with the prices of all, the, all of the items because the most I spent was $24 and these, if you've seen these, they're pricey. Like some one this size would probably be $50. So I was really happy about the price of this and everything else I got. I just really love fine tuning my home decor and going out. And the thing about vintage shopping or antique shopping is you kind of have to go often and really try to refine your home decor look. And then once you have it really refined and you kind of really know what you're looking for, then I feel like you can kind of expand what you're looking for and try to find those special pieces that maybe you wouldn't notice had you not worked on like refining your style. So that is all I got. I was really hoping we would find some Christmas decor, but I, again, I'm going to go next week and see if they bring some more out. Don't worry. I have lots of Christmas coming and this just wasn't the trip for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye.